Did Mama come to you too? Yes, but why are you in trouble? How can I help? These people have taken over our identities. I understand, from Mama, that you are the commander of the LVN. If I am able to get there in a few days, can you hide me out, and maybe we can figure this out and figure out how to stop all this? Of course, but do not be surprised if my doctor husband does a DNA test on you to prove you are who you say you are. I fully expect him to. Do you know where to find Aiden and Abby? Abby lives on board with her husband, and Aiden is on India 7. I will be there in two days. See you then. I look to Drew, then to Tony and back again several times. Ali is coming here. I suspect it is the real Ali since she remembered our secret language, which we told no one. She remembered an instance from our childhood, and said Mama came to her. She says she is in trouble, and these people are taking over our identities, she wants us to hide her out and help figure this out. I told her my doctor husband will do a DNA scan when she arrives. Tony countered, it could be a trap. Even so, we could at least figure what the game is, but I do think that before she arrives in two days that we need to prep the family for her existence. It is going to take some time for them to process it, and I think we should tell the family about Sophie, Drew. It is not month four, Drew replied, giving me a sidelong glance. I get that, but I think if we are introducing family members, we might as well introduce Sophie. Let's have a family meeting at dinner tomorrow night. Sounds like a great idea, Drew decided. I cannot wait to meet your twin. A couple days later, as I sat in my command chair in Command Central, I heard in my mind, Alex, where are you? There are a lot of people here who keep calling me Colonel. I am in Command Central, I said back in my mind. I am waiting for the next shift, which should be here any moment. Then I will be right there. You can wait in the seating area to the left on the hangar bays. When I saw my first officer enter Command Central, I stood, briefed her and hurried out the doors. I took the travel tram at the end of the hallways to the hangar bays. The moment I emerged from the crowd, heading to the hangar bays, I saw her. She looked like me, but with straighter hair and an IV pole attached to her arm. I wrinkled my brow as I rushed over to her. Then I saw all the bruises and cuts on her face. Allie, what happened to you? Never mind. Let's get you up to the hospital, and then we will disguise you, so you can move freely around the LVN. She nodded as I helped her to the travel tram that took us to the hospital. When we walked in, Drew flew by, then a moment later, he ran back to us. He looked from me to Ali and back again several times. He put his hand on the side of my face and kissed my head. Hey, sweetheart, Dr. Drew Morgan, this is my twin Allison Kessler. Ali, this is my husband, Drew. Alex, can you take her into room 745? She looks like she might be in need of my services, Drew decided, giving her an once over. He turned to me and whispered, the crew is worried you might have a bug because of how much time you have spent vomiting and being nauseated. He took me in his arms and kissed. I cannot wait for everyone to know. I cleared my throat. Can we talk about this later? We need to get Ali out of public view. People already think I am sick, and have been calling her Colonel. I led her toward room 745 when I heard Drew say, but we will talk about it. Your husband is gorgeous. Ali said in my head. If you think he is gorgeous, you should see Abby's husband. You said Abby lives on board. She's a child psychiatrist on board. What about you? When did you realize I was telling you the truth? We moved into room 745. Mama came to me in a dream. I didn't remember that I was there. I didn't remember standing over her after she was shot. I kept screaming for her to wake up, but she wouldn't. I remember someone shoving me into a black car but then I remember the life I had growing up with the Kesslers. Mama's parents believe I was at the scene. They believe I know what happened to her. I wasn't there. I don't know. She argued with a couple of people at the beach, and one of them shot her. I do not know which one because I was making a sandcastle several yards away. I wish I remembered what they looked like. It might help whoever takes over investigating her murder. I know it is a cold case, but, how much do you know about us? I know we are indigoids and not humans as I was led to believe growing up. I know that you are the colonel of the LVN and are married to a gorgeous doctor. Do you and Drew have any children? Six, and you and Kane, is it? 
I suddenly felt dread and fear coming from her. Kane, is he why you are running? Why you need me to hide you out? I have gotten this bad feeling every time I hear his name. She shut down. I am betting the fact that you just shut down as a, yes. I will do whatever I can to help. She shook her head and turned away from me. I felt fear and shame. I decided not to pursue it. Not now. You have a son, right? Zane? Yeah, Zane is a daughter, but yes, she is at the Freedom Alliance Academy. She is 21. Maybe she is in some of the same classes as her cousin Dominic. Our oldest son is at the Academy, and he is 21 as well. Our daughter Samantha is 16. Our son Seth is 15. Our twins, Dakota and Dylan, are 11. You said you have six children. That was five. Oh, you are pregnant. Is that the Sophie Mama was talking about? I nodded just as Drew moved through the doors. Your Aunt Jules and I think we are close to a protocol that will help the twins, he announced, kissing my head again. I hugged him. That is great news. Drew instructed Allie, please sit. This will only take a moment. Allie did so as Drew hooked her up to the dying monitor. Drew turned on the machine and made selections on the screen. I could see him doing a DNA test on Allie. He looked back at me and said, even on the cellular level, there is no doubt that she is your twin. She is not an android, clone or holograph. Each have tell-tale signs that are not there. He studied the readings and, um, and, oh my, escaped his lips every few seconds. He positioned himself to see Ali. You have the same memory-erasing drug in your system as we did, but you shouldn't have survived that accident. It was not the intent of whoever did that to you that you survive, and I suspect, looking over at me, and I am not a pro like you are, returning his eyes to Ali. The person who tried to kill you on that spacecraft is also the person who gave you your past broken bones and concussions. Right now, though, you are suffering from a collapsed lung and broken ribs. Outside of that, you are healing nicely even though I do not think you should have traveled here so soon after the surgery. Pro, I heard Ali say in my mind. I'm a federal agent in addition to commanding the LVN. I need your help, then. Professionally. Is Drew a federal agent too? No, but Abby's husband is. He is my partner. Kane and his family are going to come after me. The Kesslers forced me to marry him. It was an arranged marriage, and he is abusive? Yeah, I already suspected, and Drew confirmed it. Let's just focus on disguising you and getting you better. To Drew, I ventured. I think that we need to do face masking on her, and set her up in the guest room with the medical equipment we need to keep her healthy. Drew nodded and returned. I am not an empath or have a telepathic link to either of you, but even I know something is wrong, so don't you think you should put guards on her? I am going to, I agreed, catching the way he looked from me to her and back again. I think you two are fraternal twins not identical. I can tell you two apart. Allie had a slimmer nose and her eyes are a deeper green. Not to mention, Alex does not have a mole on her left cheek or a scar on her forehead. I smirked and said with grave deliberation, wagging my thumb at him, just remember which one of us is your wife of over 20 years, and we will be fine.